I always say my, my plan B is just another way to make plan A work. I didn't know exactly who I was going to be or what I was going to do, but I knew that people trusted me and I knew that I had influence on people. I am Rob Hill Sr. and I am a helper. Bookstores started off inspiring me because I didn't always see myself as an author. You know, I, I would say I was an inspiring writer or somebody who you know had a, a passion for words, but I guess the transition from coming in bookstores and seeing all the books surrounding me and wondering if those authors had been through the same things I was going through uh, or if they doubted themselves in the same way I did. Uh, so to see them, it, it kind of brought it out of me. Publishing my first book was, uh, was basically, I, I always tell people I was 24 at the time, so I'd say it took me 24 years to write it. Um, it was really a collection of everything I thought I knew at the time, things I wanted to learn, my perspective on life, and I started writing it, I would say in 2008 when I was in the Navy. It was a series called Thoughts for the Day, and I would send it out, I had about 20 contacts at the time, so I would just send it out. Um, if it was fear, cool, I wrote it on fear. If it was doubt, I wrote on doubt. If it was love, dreams, anything that came to my mind, I would write it. And, uh, and I would just put it out. Um, and the list, it, it slowly but surely started growing. Um, and that became my book. For me, Atlanta, it symbolizes growth. Um, this is a place where I came and I was just eager and young. And I was on um, what I like to call a seed plan mission. So what I would do is I would save up some money. I would pick a city, um, in this case, Atlanta. Um, I would get a hotel room and I would reach out to everyone I admired. I would invite them to lunch, dinner, whatever they had availability for. I don't care if it was just, hey, I got to go to the mall, you can walk with me. Um, I was willing to take that chance. Um, so when I came to Atlanta, it was really just for growth. The Thousand Kings Walk and starting the foundation was a very trivial time in my life. I was um, <clears throat> on the verge of getting back into the Navy. I was no longer believing that this was for me, being an author, being a speaker, any of that. Um, things would happen terribly slow, um, and I wanted to throw my hat in. You know, I felt like, all right, that's it. You know, the agents were turning me down, the publishing houses were turning me down, nothing was paying. Um, I had to move back in with my mother. Things were just, going downhill, you know, and I started to feel like I was letting not just myself down, but my family, everyone, and particularly my son, you know. I was going to the bookstore every day, just reading, trying to get as much information as I could, and it hit me that I hadn't done enough giving. Um, and I, all I was doing for like weeks, I was just complaining about what I didn't have, what wasn't happening, you know, everything that was wrong. I believe God talked to me and he told me, you know, at a time where you feel like you have your least, this is your opportunity to give the most. And boom, I got this idea to put on a walk and to give out scholarships. And I called it the Thousand Kings Walk. Uh, being young, I want my message to evolve. I want uh, the tone, the perspective to, uh, to be richer. Um, I want it to have an immediate impact on people. I want it to have an lasting impression, but I just want the fruits of my work to be growth. 